At a quick glance, all citations tend to look the same, but different elements of a citation reveal key information about what the item is, how it was created, and ultimately, that could determine whether or not you want to use this source at all. Let's take, for example, this Google Scholar search on mindfulness meditation in K-12 schools. Google Scholar isn't putting these citations in any particular formatting style. That's one reason it can be so hard to see what we're looking at. Most citations will prominently display the titles, authors, and publication dates, and that's the case here. But it's the other parts of the citation which should help us identify it. Let's look at the first item. What does mindfulness represent? And what is Springer? We can see that Springer is a website. The PDF is coming from springer.com. But is that all this is? A PDF on a website? Let's find out. This site is much better organized. We can see now that mindfulness is next to some numbers, clearly some page numbers, but also a number three. When we click on mindfulness, it becomes clear. This is the title of a peer-reviewed journal. And if we look at all volumes and issues, our item came from 2012, volume three. So what is Springer? It's clearly a publishing company, and at the bottom, we see its official title is Springer Nature. Let's see if it has a Wikipedia page. It does. Springer is a large publishing company that publishes, under subsidiaries, journals like Nature, as well as books and other reports. With these few clicks, we now know that our item was a journal article, published in the journal Mindfulness, which is published on a reputable platform. Let's try another example. Our second link looks fairly similar, except where we saw mindfulness before, now we see something called psychology in the schools. And where Springer was, we see something called Wiley Online Library. Let's click through again. Once again, psychology in the schools is a peer-reviewed journal. Wiley is another big academic publishing platform, and the item we were looking at was a journal article. So is everything on Google Scholar a journal article? No. Let's look at this item, Education as the Practice of Freedom. It seems to follow the same structure, and we even see it's on the Springer platform. Here's a clue on the web page, though, a button that says Cite Chapter. We can see the page numbers, and if we click on the cover, we can see that this is a book with editors. The editors help select works by various authors to include as chapters, so our item isn't an article. It's a chapter in a book. Some citations are formatted perfectly and even tell you what you're looking at. That's great. But for those real-world instances where things aren't so perfect, whether in a database or on the open web, remember to click through and take a closer look. The context clues of the site where the item was published often provides enough information for you to understand what kind of source it is. How do we move from the source to reading the full text? We'll cover that in the next two lessons.